Here we are. Okay, we got the Legend Maker Pack. Gather round, children! We got a beautiful Legend Maker Booster Pack for Mr. LaFlame. One whole pack. I told my wife about this, the boy who lived narrative, and she was laughing her ass off. I'm telling you, that's how they, they see him now. That's their boy now. That's their... Oh, he's Harry Potter. The ear thing, his ear scar is basically like Harry Potter's lightning scar. Here goes. And maybe uh, Voldemort is Nancy Pelosi or something. Let's do it. Harry Potter, the boy who lived, come to die. How good am I at this? Ugh. All right. Oh, man, apparently really good at this. Okay, you ready? No, let's open it like this. Let's grab it like this. Well, no, 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 because we're going to go for the front. All right. Centret, are you ready? One Centret. Ooh, beautiful. Chin Chow. Oh, yeah, man. Look at that Chin Chow. Trap Inch. He knows Pebble Throw. Ten cool. Now, don't forget, Legend Maker is a hot set, even if the pack is light, because it's really there's a lot of money in the reverse hollow slot. So he just has to pull the right reverse hollow. Magby, if it's really hot, I better be careful not to spit on it. Okay. Oh, there it is, Skitty. That's the reverse hollow. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. I was like, wait a second, what am I looking at? Wow, that's a hot man. Skitty looking great, dude. All right, so that's the reverse hollow slot. Looks like a rare, doesn't it? It looks like that's the rare spot, but the rare is actually behind this. So in Legend Maker, this is this is the money card is actually in the reverse hollow slot, unless you get really lucky in the the um, the main slots like a heavy pack and this an EX. Oh, it it looks holographic. You might actually have a double hollow. Oh, what's this? <laughs> Wait. Oh my god, we gotta sleeve that shiz up. <laughs> that is definitely gonna be a clip. Oh, you gotta thank the guy that had me trade this out for you, man. <laughs> oh my god. That is a gold star Reggie Steel. Wow, La Flame, you gotta let me send it out for you and grade it for you too. Look at that, everybody. That's the first time we've ever pulled a gold car a gold star anything. Oh, I wish I knew who sold it to me so I could tell them too. Oh, let's look it over. That could be a multi-thousand dollar card. Our first impression is that the card is very well centered. Let's check the back. There's a chance. It, there is definitely a chance. If you look up in this corner, it looks like a light white dot there. I call it like a half dot. So it's going to be up to PSA. There is definitely a chance, though. Wow, dude. If it grades 10, it's like uh, probably a couple thousand I don't think the Reggies are as expensive as some of the other sets. Let me go look it up. I will look up the 9 and the 10. Are you ready? Well, here, let me use my phone so I can show you on screen as well. I was definitely not expecting that. Wow, dude. We were so close to giving you the other pack, too, just because it was going to be convenient. And then the one guy said, give him the one in the holder. I said, all right. You find out who that is and give him a little tip or something because he just swapped you into a Gold Star uh, Reggie Steel. So here he is. So the cheapest Gold Star Reggie Star uh, uh, Reggie Steel ten is this one in Australia with thirty six watchers for three point three thousand. That's the cheapest one. Buy it now. Wow, dude. Whoever had him switch, you the real MVP. Yeah, somebody look it up. Whoever it was had me swap it because you would have gotten the other pack otherwise. Dude, I wish I could trace back who I bought this from and tell him it was a gold star. All right. Now, here's the craziest part. Even if that card does not grade 10, it's going to grade at least 9. It's well-centered. It's got a half dot on the upper left, uh, upper right corner, depending on how you think of the card. And here's the price of a 9. So the price of a 9 is 1150 Check it out. Can you see that? PSA 9 is 1150 he pulled a thousand dollars out of that box, guys. He's he's gonna get a nine or a ten. Pretty sure he's at least getting a nine. So it's probably at least a thousand dollar card. Wow, dude! What good luck! You need that good luck sometimes because it helps balances out uh, when you have bad luck. Holy Jesus! Wow! I saw the TCC 
uh, CT scan the pack earlier. <laughs> yeah, that's right. We were using the CT scanner. We got to get the good ones. Oh, man, that's crazy. Well, Mr. LaFlame, you get the honor of being the first gold star ever pulled on this channel. We've never pulled one before. Uh, I figure the odds of actually pulling a gold star are so astronomically small. For those of you who don't understand gold star pulls, uh, so let's say you bought a whole box of Legend Maker. Your whole box might not have a gold star in it. I understand the pull rates were about one every other box. So every other box roughly had a gold star in it. And so your odds are like, you know, they're pretty low because not all the packs are going to be heavy packs either. So first of all, you got to have a box with a gold star in it. And then you got to pull the exact pack that has that gold star in it. So yeah, it's like one in 12, one in 24 or something like that. I, I'm not, I'm not quite sure how the math works out. It's really low, the odds, but also the idea that it's an unsearched booster pack too. It's like, damn dude, that's lucky, man. All right, man. Wow. It's a good thing you were pushing me too to open this. I was like, I don't know, dude. And uh I just I just chose the Legend Maker for you. Did you note that too? I was like, let's do Legend Maker. Legend Maker's cool. I was so right. Here we are. Crazy. He's having a good night tonight. LaFlame's gonna party a little bit. Let me go put this over here. That is definitely a clip. That's that clip's gonna do well too. I was smiling. You should have seen the grin on my face when we pulled it. I was smiling when we pulled it. Flip this around. I was like, no way, dude. That's gonna that's gonna make a fantastic clip. You also get the skitty, by the way. So you got skitty and Reggie Steel. Beautiful. That's my first gold star too. I've never pulled one for myself. Um I pulled one for you, but I've never pulled one for myself. Man, that is super cool. If you ever want to sell it, I might be interested in it. Um, cause I don't know if you collect Reggie steals or not, but you might one day be interested in selling it. Here we are. All right. I'll put the skitty in here for fun as well. There you go. But we might want to grade it first to see what its value is. All right. That is one of the coolest things we've pulled. To this is like a top 10 TCC pull guys. We got, uh, what we got the, uh, no hollow dragonite. Uh, Shining Kabutops is definitely one. Remember Shining Kabutops? Um, I feel like we've pulled a lot of first edition, like, Charizards. Like, we've pulled, I think, two Blaine's Charizard first editions. We've pulled a bunch of holographic first edition Dark Charizards. I think we've pulled, like, three or four of those. Um, yeah, this is definitely a top card. Yeah, this, the Shining Kabutops and the No Hollow Error Dragonite, those are all top pulls now. Super cool. Send to CGC. Well, CGC will 100% give that the Gem Mint 10. We are. But I don't think that's getting pristine. No way. They won't give it pristine. That's why I think you're better off sending it to uh, PSA. Yeah, I would not send that to BGS or CGC. I'd send that to uh, PSA. And then I would hope for the PSA 10. Let's take another look at it on the back. So it's this one corner is bothering me. Let's get a zoom. Come on now. So I call that a half dot, and I'll be real curious what PSA grades that because it's going to affect my understanding of how they grade. I call it a half dot. That might be a nine, dude. Now, if it gets a nine with PSA, we can try to crack it and send it to, to uh, CGC and hope that it gets the CGC gem mint because I feel like the CGC gem mint gives you another chance. Uh, Laflame's comment, what did he say? He said, give the Rev Hollow skitty to blank and chucky blank and chucky did you have a bag with me already crazy man so he was the guy who told you to swap it 